moments. The tendency of a force to produce rotation of a body about an axis or a point is called moment of the force. It is calculated as the product of the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance of the force from the point of rotation or the moment center. The line perpendicular to the plane containing the force and passing through the moment center is called the axis of the moment. If the force is expressed in Newton and the arm of force in meters, then the moment of force is expressed in Newton meter. It is a vector quantity and hence has a magnitude as well as direction. Depending upon the position of the force and the moment center, the direction would be either clockwise or counterclockwise. If clockwise is taken as positive, then counterclockwise should be taken as negative. So, MO is equal to F into OB, that is equal to F into OA sin theta. Now, if you consider a spanner, when it is used to tighten bolt, the moment created at the point depends on the force and the distance of application of the force. That is, you can tighten the bolt in different ways as shown. In the first case, we have moment equal to F into D1. In the second case, moment is equal to F into D2. And in the third case, moment is equal to F sin theta into D3. Here, in the second case, the distance is maximum and the force is acting perpendicular to spanner. Therefore, maximum moment will be created at the center in the second case. Moment of a force will be maximum when the line of action is perpendicular to line joining the point of application and moment center. Moment will be zero when the force acts at the moment center and also when the line of action is passing through the moment center. Now we will see some examples wherein we can determine the magnitude and direction of the moments. Consider a beam as shown. We have forces F1 and F5 acting upwards at points A and D as shown. Forces F2, F3 and F4 are acting downwards at points B, O and C respectively. Force F6 is acting towards left at point D. We will now find the magnitude and direction of the moments created by all these forces. Moment of force F1 about O is equal to F1 into OA in the clockwise direction. Moment of force F2 about O is equal to F2 into OB in the counterclockwise direction. Moment of force F3 about O is equal to F3 into 0, that is equal to 0, since F3 is passing through the moment center. Now, moment of force F4 about O will be equal to F4 into OC. It will be in the clockwise direction. Moment of force F5 about O will be equal to F5 into OD in the counterclockwise direction. Now, the moment of force F6 about O will be equal to F6 into 0, that is equal to 0. Since the line of action of F6 is passing through the moment center O 